In this video, we will build our geologic unit polygon symbology. One of the reasons why I chose SP Mountain for this mapping tutorial is because of the relative ease of distinguishing geologic units. Go to the contents pane and toggle the SP Google Earth satellite image. Now, right click the geologic units feature layer in the contents pane and open the symbology pane. Like we did with geologic contacts and linear features, be sure to switch the primary symbology to unique values, then change field one to unit, then click on the plus icon to begin defining our geologic units. Click options and then add new value. The first geologic unit we will define is the Permian Kaibab formation, which is a limestone. This unit is white to light gray and is primarily exposed in the northwest portion of the map. We will assign a rock unit label of PK to this unit. The capital P represents the age, which is Permian, and the small k stands for the first letter of the unit's name. We will change the polygon color to a blue, which is in line with the FGDC recommendations for Permian rocks. Refer to your FGDC map symbols guide for recommended color and naming schemes for geologic units. The second geologic unit we will define are undifferentiated surficial deposits. This unit appears on the satellite imagery as a medium gray. It sometimes onlaps volcanic features and the Kaibab formation. We will assign a rock unit label of QS to this unit. Q stands for the quaternary period, and small s stands for surficial. Without external research or having visited this field site, you might not know what the lithology or nature of the surficial sediments are. This unit that we are calling QS is comprised of volcanic airfall tephra from nearby volcanoes, older eroded lava flows, as well as recent alluvial and aeolian-derived sediment. Typically, quaternary units are represented with yellow colors. I have selected an orange color here, but I will show you how to correct this in a future video. The third geologic unit we will define are these degraded volcanic vents. These three additional volcanic vents are notably more eroded and oxidized compared to SP Mountain, though remnant crater rims are still obvious. The exact age relation between these vents is unclear, therefore we will lump them all into a unit called QV for quaternary vents. Though the San Francisco volcanic field has been erupting for approximately 6 million years, many of the basaltic scoria cones, including SP Mountain, erupted during the quaternary period, which spans 2.5 million years ago to present day we will assign a reddish-orange color for the QV unit. The fourth geologic unit we will add is the star of the show, the SP Mountain Scoria Cone. For this map and tutorial, we will split the SP Mountain Scoria Cone from its lava flow, even though they resulted from the same eruption, because they are easily distinguished from satellite imagery and on the hillshade base maps. We will call this unit QSC for Quaternary Scoria Cone and assign a red color. The fifth geologic unit we'll add is the SP Mountain Lava Flow. This black basaltic lava flow stands in stark contrast with the previously defined units. We will label this unit QL for Quaternary Lava Flow. We will change the polygon color to a purple, which is typically used for mapping basalts. Now that we have defined our geologic units, click Options, Select All, then OK at the bottom. The newly created symbol classes will appear in the Symbology pane and in the Contents pane. However, all maps typically contain a description of map units and a correlation of map units. It is convention to always show the oldest rocks at the bottom and the youngest units at the top. 
You can adjust the order of the rock units by highlighting them in the symbology pane and using the up and down arrow icons to move them. Here I move the Permian Kaibab formation to the bottom of the list as it is the oldest rock unit in the area. The SP Mountain Scoria Cone and Lava Flow are the same age as they formed from a single eruptive episode. They are among the youngest rock unit. We know from geomorphology that the QV degraded vents are relatively older than SP Mountain Scoria Cone and Lava Flow. The reason why I left QS as older than the other quaternary units is because my definition of undifferentiated surficial deposits included pre-existing lava flows in which the younger volcanic features are emplaced upon. This highlights the need for every map to contain a thorough description of map units, or DOMU for short, so that other geologists know what each map unit is and how it was defined. As well, a correlation of map units, or COMU, is also necessary to graphically show the often nuanced age relationships between geologic units, as well as the nature of the contacts between each unit. In the next video, we will discuss map scales and draw in our map border.